In today's episode, we're going to share with you why you should not be doing price discounting in your business, how that's negatively inf- impacting you, your business and your profitability and your potential for long term survival. And we're also going to share with you the alternatives that you can use to price discounting. So uh, welcome to tip number 34 of the life changing business tips. My name is Kevin Bees and uh, let's let's jump straight in. Um, so if you have discounted your product or service in the past, or if you're thinking you are going to, then this is going to give you a real good uh, reason to pause and think very carefully about that. I want to share with you before I jump into the, the numbers and the figures around this, I want to share with you a little story. I was um, in New York and I, I, was, uh, I walked down the street and I can see that there was a queue outside of this hairdresser's. And I didn't really understand what was going on. And there was a big sign on the window saying $10 haircuts. Now, this must have been a fantastic price for New York because the, it was cute. It was cute out of the door. And the hairdresser's opposite. He was doing $50 haircuts. So I kind of went across to him and said, well, well what are you going to do about this? Like, are you going to put your prices down? Are you going to reduce your prices? Because he's doing $10 haircuts and you're doing $50 haircuts. He said no. And he writes up a sign and he sticks a sign up in the window and it says, we fix $10 haircuts. <laughs> Okay, now I love it is a, is a cheesy story there and I can't even remember where I first heard it, but the idea is great because he wasn't going to get into a price war and put his prices down. Instead, he was gonna point out the difference in his service, his standards, his quality. Okay, so maybe there will always be people who want the $10 haircuts, but there are always gonna be people who want the $50 haircuts as well because they want that reassurance that it's a good quality haircut and it's taken care of. So what is the impact to you in your business if you start reducing uh, your prices or discounting your prices? It's a little bit scary when you uh, you realize this. I just wanna jump straight in and show you this, this table or these statistics and I'll I see if I can do that here on live. Now, what you can't see very well right now is across the top is how much you do a decrease, how much you decrease your prices by. And down the side is it depends on your level of gross margin. Now, your gross margin is what you keep after you take out any cost of sales, anything, any cost specifically related, related to selling your product. Now, imagine as an example, you had a 50% gross margin. So for every... Um, for every $100 you got in revenue, you gave out 50 in terms of selling at the cost of the product or your sales commission for your, uh, your commission only salesperson. So if you had a 50% gross margin and you just reduced your prices by 10%, you'd have to do 25% more work just to make the same money. 25% more work to make the same money. Or even if we went with a, a lower example, if you had a 30% gross margin and you just did a 5% price reduction, you have to do 20%, 20% more work just to earn the same money, okay? Now, this is why it's so important that we shouldn't, as business owners, first opt to discounting. Now, the other problem with discounting, of course, is we know if, if you start discounting and then the other people in the industry discount, then it's continual war until you get to the very bottom and there's no money left in the whole business for anyone. So you want to avoid getting into the situation where you're continually discounting because it, it, it will kind of kill your products, it will kill your services, it will kill your opportunity in business. Now, what's the alternative? What can we do instead of discounting? I think like in the, uh, the story that I shared with you, we can begin to help the customer see why we're worth paying the price that we quoted, why we're not gonna budge from that price because we have a superior quality or a superior standard or we're gonna deliver it on a certain time with reliability, okay? Because you can have you can have cost, you can have quality, or you can have speed, like time. But you probably can't have all three together. So if your customer is wanting a lower price for you, then in some some respects, they may, be, they may have to expect a lower quality or they may have to expect a slower time in order for you to deliver it and make that worthwhile. So you can always point out and accentuate with your uh, your product why your product is is superior or why you're going to keep there. The the ways that I actually prefer to be making sure that you don't discount is give something else to the customer that's of a high perceived value that costs you very little. Right? So high perceived value and it costs you very little. Now, what could that be? It could be um I've got an example, a, a colleague of mine, he's very big into doing a lot of online programs. And so when he does his online program, you may buy into his coaching or his mentoring, and then to raise the value so he doesn't need to give a discount, he will give away one of his top programs that was worth when he sold it, $1,000 or $2,000 or whatever the price was, he adds that for free. Now, what's the additional cost to him for that? Like zero, he just needs to give somebody a username and password because those videos are already done, 
Okay, now uh, this may not be as easy for us, uh, for those of you who aren't in a um, information product business. You can't just give away something like that because you don't already have it made or created. But maybe you, if you, if you are doing like group coaching or something of that nature, you can always uh, give people an invite to your group program. You're already running it anyway, so there's potentially no additional cost for you. If you have physical products, the opportunity you have here is maybe you can give your clients something that uh, has a high perceived value but low cost to you. Maybe it's some older stock that you know isn't going to be selling as fast anymore. Maybe you can gift them that. Now, that piece of stock may have cost you, say, $10, but uh, the retail price, of course, may end up being like $50. So if you're a customer, it feels like you get $50 more value, but it's cost you only 10 the other ways you can do this, we haven't really spoken about this on the tips before, which is alliance partnerships. Sometimes you can have an alliance, someone who has the same ideal client as you, and they may be willing to give you one of their products or their services to gift your clients for free, okay? Or they may be willing to give it to you for a very low price in order as a way to promote them to your clients, okay? So uh, it could be, I'm just thinking now, um, beauty salon. Okay, so the, the hair salon, one of my clients has a hair salon, they're able sometimes to give away gift packs of uh, shampoos or conditioners that the supplier has given them for free. Now, why would, they, why would the supplier do that? The supplier does that because it promotes their product or service, okay? But of course, for my customer, it just they look like they're being very generous and looking after their customers. So my key message today is don't discount. Don't discount, don't discount. Find some other way to add um, more perceived value to your customer at a low cost for you. That would be the best way. Uh, or, of course, it's, it's in the framing. If it's around uh, you're about more quality or you have a better standard or better service, make sure the customer knows what that is. Uh, now, make sure you join us tomorrow because today today's tip was really about making sure that you don't give away your profitability without thinking about it, okay? And tomorrow is going to be more about, well, how do we not just not discount, but how do we increase our prices? How do we put our prices up and get more revenue, more profitability, uh, potentially for doing less work or less time and effort? I, I will catch you for tip number 35 tomorrow. And if you haven't already, please uh, like us, follow us, subscribe, whatever it is you need to do, share, and then we can keep sharing this great content. Thank you and have a great evening.